Welcome to the introduction to R video tutorial. In this video tutorial, you'll learn where to get R and how to start using R. R is a very, very powerful statistical computing platform. All right, to get it, go to rproject.org. It's www.r-project.org. That'll take you to this web page that you see in front of you. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download R over here. You'll click that, you'll set a mirror, which is where you're going to download it from. There are many sites that hold R. You're going to download it from there, and it's going to download an installer, and you'll install R. Once you've done that, then you'll be able to then start R. Once you've installed R, then you can simply start it by clicking the big R that has been installed on your desktop. So you would just double click this, and this will open up R. Now that you've opened up R, this is what you see in front of you. It's not very satisfying in terms of a GUI because all you really get is a console window, which you can type things into directly. Now, R is a command-based language, meaning that you're going to have to type commands in in order to get it to do anything. So you can type them directly into the console if you wish, which I could do here. I'm going to ask it to give me help by using the question mark on a histogram. And this is something that you'll learn about in your class or you may already know about. So I type in question mark H-I-S-T, hit enter, and submit it to the console. And in just a second, a window will pop up that will have the help for a histogram. Now, my computer runs slow when I use this screen capture video, but your, it will pop up quickly on your machine. Okay, so it's popped up the help for a histogram, and you can see the code that you need uh, to get a histogram. It also has things in it like various commands or options that you could use in it, and if you scroll down, it gives examples down at the bottom. I'm going to let you explore the help on your own, but in order to use the help, you really, really need to know what function that you're interested in. So the best way to do that is to use Google. Okay, so suppose we don't want to type things directly into the console, which we almost never would want to actually type them directly into the console. What we'd like to do is make a script. And a script is something that we can run in, in R, but we can type it elsewhere so that we're not constantly typing into the console window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File. Under File, there is New Script. When you click this, what you're going to get is you're going to get an editor that will pop up. And in this editor is where you can type your script or series of commands that R will then execute. All right. So we've got an editor popped up here. This editor will allow us to type any commands that we want into R, and then R will then execute them when we tell it to. So suppose that we simply want to... Uh, something very simple would be randomly generate some data and one way we could do that is we can generate some uniform random data now in r the assignment operator is this arrow looking thing so it's a less than symbol and a minus sign that says assign whatever i'm going to type after it into the variable that i have in front of it so here i have x and it says assign to x I'm going to do a uniform random variable. I'm going to sample 100 samples from it, and I'm going to make that bound between 0 and 1. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is create a histogram. So I'm going to type hist x. Now, notice I'm typing this into the editor, and it's not going to the console. So the next thing I'd want to do is actually have the console execute it. So what I can do is go up to this button up here that looks like two sheets of paper with an arrow in between them. And you'll see that the tooltip that pops up says run line or selection. And what that's going to do is take whatever you have highlighted in your editor and submit it to the console. So I'm going to click on that and notice it's getting typed over to the console. It'll probably be much faster on your machine due to my screen capture software. And what does it do? It's generated the data already, and now it's creating a histogram. 
And here's the histogram of my data that I generated, my 100 observations. All right, so there's lots of things that you can do in R, but this should get you started. Remember the assignment operator, remember where to get it, and remember how to set up a script. And this should get you started using R. Now, in order to do lots of things in R, you're going to have to watch lots of videos or get a book or look at the web. There's lots of ways to learn it, but these videos are designed to give you an introductory way to begin to analyze your data and explore your data using R. All right, so if you have any questions, please ask or watch the next video.